Yo, how's it going everyone? Raw here, bringing you another Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 video. And today's one, I'm going to be giving you a little update about the driver situation again, and hopefully to help your game work better for you guys. So, NVIDIA has actually put out a tweet, which I'll let you guys see right now on the screen. So it says, NVIDIA GeForce Hotfix Display Driver 526.61 is now available, bringing fixes for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, VTube Studio and more. Click below and learn more and download the driver. So when you click this link, I'll put this in the description for you guys so you can check this out for yourself. It'll take you to this page and you can see here they give a little brief description. This hotfix will address the flashing corruption and can be randomly while playing the game, uh, crash and on the black screen and also GPU stuck in the PO state existing at certain games. So this is supposed to help with a lot of the crashing, a lot of the flashes, you know, a lot of the game bugs. Um, this is the one here. It also works with the 526.47. So this is based on this one. If you've got this one, you should be good and things should be better. Uh, if you haven't got it, then I would highly recommend, you know, upgrading, getting your driver fixed. This is the hotfix for the Modern Warfare 2 game, as they say. So let's hop on and quickly check, see if it's all good. Let's give it a go. Okay, so we're loading in. The UI is still complete and utterly, you know, trash. You can see here things overlay each other. That still is a problem. Uh, the laggy start before you even get into a game, it's still an issue. Um, you know, the, things are still not up to scratch yet on this game. You know, there's a lot of problems with this game. You know, but there's a lot of good things about this game. That's the problem, you know. The game is in a good state, but it has also got bad things as well, which affect the game, you know. So, um, we've loaded in. It's a bit buggy right now. It feels a little bit, it feels a little bit buggy. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Yeah, see, it still feels a little bit buggy. I'm hoping this is just because, it's, you know, I've just joined in. Okay, we're in the game. Um, everything seems to be fine just now. So obviously this is just first impressions, you know, this is me just jumped in right after the driver update description and how the game is, but the game feels, you know, fine just now, which is a bonus. Oh, get a little trip right off the bat there. I'm liking this. This guy's posted up. <laughs> but yeah, okay. So far, so good, you know. Oh, baby. Okay. Yep, it seems okay right after the flashbang, you know. The game feels smooth. You know, I'm not having any freezing problems. You know, that's a win. But yeah, there's been no problems there. I've managed to load in straight away. The game feels okay. You know, I'm not experiencing any problems. You know, that was only a f that was only a few minutes of playing. But you know, if I do experience any problems, I'll leave it in the comments. But I believe. This fix is supposed to help, you know, reduce the crashing and also help with all, any other little bug fixes that they might have. So slowly but surely they're, you know, trying to get this game going. But the game overall still needs some updates, you know, with the UI, you know, they need to add in hardpoint. You know, season one is a big update. They need to make sure that it is working on launch and things are working, you know, and the content starts rolling because, you know, not having a game with no leaderboards and no you know combat record or you know anything like that day one stuff that should be in the game it's a bit weird but you know we go with it i'm enjoying the game hope you guys are as well thank you all for watching have a great day and i'll speak to you guys in the next video peace